Good morning, Christian friends. This is the Plum Line. I'm Jesse Hood. Today's scripture will be Romans 8 and 22. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Let us pray. Father, we come to you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, we come in asking for forgiveness for all the what we have done, mankind, of this against this creation, Father, that you are the Father of. How we have just mishandled it, mismanaged it, abused your creation. So, Father, forgive us for all what we have done. For the earth is yours, Father, and everything that dwells within. So, Father, let us be cognitive of everything, what we have done, how we have polluted the air, how we have uh, polluted, Father, the, the, the rivers, how we have mistreated uh, the mountains, how we have thewed and cut down the trees, Father. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, Father. And Father, let us be mindful of this creation that you created, Father, this heaven and earth, which is yours, even the stratosphere, the atmosphere, is all yours, Father. So help us, Father, and please forgive us in the name of Jesus. Keep us strong and let us be able to do your will. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So Christian friends, here we are again, the plumb line. We coming to you, uh, just letting you know that how the scriptures say, the creation groans. And it's simply because of how human sin created this whole, this whole uh, situation that we are in today. Human sin. When God created heaven and earth, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And the earth was without form. But God he set his eyes upon the deep. And the Holy Spirit uh, blew on the waters. And heaven and, and, and earth and earth was formed. And then he goes to say, uh, let there be light. God said, let there be light. And there was light. And then uh, God created man from the earth, from the dust. But once again, human sin. When Adam uh, ate from the tree of, of of knowledge everything changed because God asked him not to, to eat from the tree of knowledge 
Everything changed. It was a time before Adam, the human being, sinned with his wife Eve. The earth was not polluted. The earth was pure and clean and divested of any type of extraneous matter. The earth was uh, just so uh, just so clean and pure. The rivers that flow, the four rivers that flow, the water was just as pure and it didn't need any type of filtering. There was no, didn't need no type of filter plant. The green grass, the, the, the trees, everything was just so godly, so full of God's nature. But when Adam sinned, it started the process of polluting the whole earth started moaning and groaning. Everything that God created became filthy as filthy rags. Everything that God created became distorted. Everything that God created became uh, Vulgar, nasty, contaminated. It would not pass the government health inspection. Everything was totally miscombogulated. Uh, Everything, God's creation just was uh, simply uh, not good. But thank God for the hope of God's Son. Thank God for the hope of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was the subjection to that hope. Thank God for our Lord and Savior who came and reconciled uh, a filthy world into a world of joy, peace, happiness, the first fruit. He is patient with us uh, and long suffering and made everything back the way it was supposed to be. Thank God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who uh, was pure and without sin. There was no contamination in his blood. There was nothing raggedy or filthy or decay about him. The earth moaned and started to decay when human sin came into existence. When Adam went against God's com uh, instructions, that's when the earth started to groan in filth. Adam and Eve uh, hid from God because they had committed a sin and contaminated the pure, beautiful, God's green earth that he had created. It wasn't supposed to be no erosion. It wasn't supposed to be no deterioration. 
of God's green earth that wasn't supposed to be any type of impurities, infirmaries, sickness, sorrow, or death. The earth moans and groans in human sin, what Adam started from the jump. But thank God, God had a plan of redemption. This is the plumb line coming, telling you that God had a plan of redemption. When Adam uh, had the fall and contaminated this whole earth, the earth started groaning because of decay and filth and ragged. It was just, the earth was just in a total, total miscombobulated mess. Thank God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, whose subjection to the hope of the world. Thank God for the light of the world. Thank God for the good shepherd. Thank God for the reconciliation that Jesus Christ did on the cross. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you for being the clean up man. Thank you, Father, for being the clean up man, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for being the clean-up man from this old contaminated earth. You have 